Next up we have what's cooking. Good looking? No, okay, it's just what's look. It's just what's cooking. All righty. So this is about a squid shop owner. Why anyone would think that is a good idea? I have no clue. The cast in this is excellent. This episode is also great. I love this episode. I've been a big fan of this for years. It's another one of these episodes that I remember very, very well. So when I threw it on, I was like, oh, I love this episode. Here we go. I wonder if it holds up. It absolutely did. We have so much talent involved here. We have Christopher Reeve. We have Judd Nelson. Oh my God, Bender himself. That's cool enough on its own. We have Meatloaf or Bob Bitch Tits. We got K from Jaws 3. And we got Art LaFleur here, who most memorable for me, he's been in fucking billion things. Like, come on. The Babe from The Sandlot. The Sultan of Swat. The Colossus of Clout. The Colossus of Clout. Um, I'm just dropping shit. I have a freaking Slasher Sunday movie in my lap because I'm about to record that review right now because you needed to know that. Um, so yeah, their business is going under and Judd Nelson is this drifter who works there cleaning up and he says he has this amazing barbecue recipe and Meatloaf comes in and is you know telling them they're going to be in, that they're evicted, that they you know can't pay their bills, they need to get the hell out, they're going to you know, whatever, so on and so forth. And so Christopher Reeve accidentally cuts him in a struggle. Uh, Meatloaf runs off and the next day when he comes in, uh, they think that the business is going under. The cop comes in and he wants a, you know, some food and they look in the fridge and there's all these prime cut steaks there and they grill them up. I'm sure, I mean, this is a spoiler view, so obviously, but I'm sure anyone could guess what this is going to be. Uh, there's there's no real uh, twist uh, so much except at the very very end, which I love that twist and it's really fucking gruesome, honestly. Even though it's not really shown, I guess the implication of what happened is just gnarly. Um, and <laughs> the scene where they're in the uh, you know uh, Meatloaf's character's name's Chumley, and when they're going in the freezer when they. You know, when Chris Reeves finds that he's been eating, that he's been cooking up and serving people, um, Judd Nelson goes and he hacks a piece of meat off of Chumley's ass. And it's so gruesome and disgusting and awesome. I love it. The practicals on that are, are excellent. Um, and Chris Reeves is like super against it, doesn't know what to do, thinks he's going to get framed. And then he cuts up a piece and he eats it, and as soon as he tastes it, he's like completely on board. All of a sudden, he's just like, all right, we're gonna be rich. Like, I can do with this, because this is so damn tasty. It must be one hell of a steak. Um, and Judd Nelson, I mean, for the fact that it's his recipe, and he's the one going out and doing the killing, and all, the, all they have to do is just run the business and cook, and he wants 50-50. Now, of course, I wouldn't condone murder by any means, but it seems like he's doing the lion's share, pun intended, of the work here. He has to go out and kill everybody, and he's providing, you know. I think the I don't think the recipe is actual recipe. He says it's barbecue, but they're grilling it, and they don't look seasoned at all. So I'm not sure if there is some barbecue seasoning or barbecue sauce or something that's being applied that we don't see because I think the recipe is just that it's human. But it's funny to me that they call it barbecue and it's never thrown on a barbecue grill. It's just thrown on a regular flat stovetop grill. So I, I don't understand that at all. Uh, <laughs> I don't get that. Doesn't matter. Um, you have to wonder though. I mean different people would taste different, right? I mean, just purely off of what they eat, how they take care of themselves, uh, nationality, maybe. I don't know, maybe not on that. Uh, I, I don't know, I haven't eaten many people. Many. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I have to wonder that. And then uh, she gets set up at, or he gets set up at the end and, and gets the whole thing turned on him because Christopher Reeves realizes that 
uh, you know, she gets the call ahead of time, um, or he gets the call ahead of time, yeah, because he's gonna keep bullets in the gun, uh, and then the cop is in on it. He wants, he's got a hunger now for this, for this meat. He can't stop eating it, and uh, he wants to retire, and what else can he do but help them out by keeping that place going. Um, it's great, man. And then they cook Judd Nelson alive, just press his face down right on the grill, and he screams out. I'm not sure how much, like, how good, like, a face steak would be with all that fucking, like, hair follicles going there. <laughs> I don't think that'd be the prime cut there. But it's just something that's always stuck out to me. Like, it's a, it's a scene I always remember watching it as a kid and just being like, oh my God, being cooked alive, being cooked alive. There's so many horrible deaths that you could have eaten alive, boiled alive, burned alive, you know, cooked alive, anything like that. Ew, ugh, so, so fucking uh, awful, but uh, great episode, man. Everyone, anyone else love this episode? I mean... Uh, I, I, this has got to be a, like a fan favorite, right? This is such a good episode. All right.